Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey! This is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary Rose editor took a to day me. for me. I had She's less than 12 hours address. left to meet the kidnapper. I All I could do was get She's Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. You're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper.
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without it. There was no power to the searchlight. 